In that vehicle, two weapons were recovered. A third weapon was recovered on scene at this location. Plenty of guns, plenty of gunfire in a Southside shooting that left four young men injured and another dead. Police are calling this another shootout tied to an historic gang war in the area. Anthony Ponce live with the latest, including footage just into our newsroom. Anthony. Yes, Donna Corey, we're going to show you that footage. We have edited it, but I uh, do want to warn you that it is graphic. As you'll see, uh, this is a shootout between rival gang members that unfolded shortly after 4 o'clock in the back of the yard's neighborhood. It left a 19-year-old boy dead, and as you mentioned, four others injured. Police say uh, when they responded, they were met with hostility. Members from the community and gang members from this crowd were actively fighting the police while they were trying to tend to the victims. And five, four to five people shot, one's a fatality, but the problem is the large crowd is fighting with the police. Shortly after 4 p.m., citywide police units were called to restore order at 48th and 8 up in back of the yards during a police response to five young men shot. Officers immediately uh, attempted uh, to perform life-saving measures on those that were shot and they were met by a hostile crowd. A 19-year-old died of a gunshot wound to the head, a 16-year-old and an 18-year-old are in critical condition and two other victims, also 16 and 18, are stable. Police say the occupants of this red Mazda opened fire before fleeing and crashing a few blocks away. Multiple weapons were found inside the vehicle, but the occupants are still on the run. There's a historic gang conflict between two rival gangs here. We don't believe the community uh, is being targeted, but that it's, it's uh, specific gang members that are targeting one another in this historic conflict. Two people were arrested for fighting with police in their response to that incident. If you have any information on the occupants of that stolen red Mazda, you are encouraged to reach out to Chicago police. I also want to point out that as we were all waiting for police to provide us an update on what happened earlier, we all heard at least five gunshots ring out a block south from the media staging area. Police were not able to comment on whether those uh, that second round of gunfire was related to the first incident. We are live outside police headquarters tonight. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32, Chicago.